It's forecast rain late this afternoon and you can see the clouds starting to form all above me. And it's about one o'clock right now and hasn't rained yet. So this one rained yesterday and you can see I forgot to pot up some of these tito buns. I potted up some a few days ago because it just desperately needed to be potted. Oh look, see, Millibug already attacked it. There's one at the back there, but it's okay. I kill you! I kill you, Millibug. Now this, oh, this is not Tito Buns. I think some are, these ones are, but that one looks like, what are your name, what's your name? I think Super Milky. But I've got an empty spot from where some of the plants died. I think Super Milky, yes, it is Super Milky, this one here. Are you? Yes, Super Milky, that's the same one. So I potted up these ones because that rotted, the whole plant rotted, but uh, I removed the leaves. This is already maybe a month ago and then they started growing. So I potted a one, two, three, four. Oh, that one doesn't look very good. Are you variegating on me? That one, look at that. See, it looks funny. And see, you can see <laughs> those ones starting to grow uh, some weeds again. Now that one is Tito Buns, but anywho, this one now, I'm gonna just drop them where it's hot. Drop it where, no, <laughs> drop it where it's dry. Okay, you got space for me? Give me room. Okay, there you go. Anyway, you'll do that one. We just go remove that. But I think it's gonna be crowded there, so I'm gonna try this one. I'll remove the red wine, all gone. So we do a hole and put you there. You are now super milky. And now we take this one, we do a hole and there you go. So two super milky, one more, that other one. Okay, that one sort of rotted the leaves, but doesn't matter. And I can see some roots from the top. So I'm gonna actually do that upside down. Okay, hopefully you get the message that you're supposed to grow that way. <laughs> but if not, well, too bad. There's plenty more super milky in my ocean of succulents. My striped ebony has rotted. So this is like a mini cleaning video. Now it did rot because of the rain, but also there's some nasties there. So that's a mealybug that has gotten to it. And confession time, actually this year, I haven't given them my sea salt spray for uh, the summer. And so now my plants are suffering. They need seaweed solution, but I just saw something. Look, mealybug. I spray you. I'm just using my metho spirit. Yes, the good spirit. Two of my favorite plants. When they color up in autumn, they're just so beautiful. Anyway, this one is called Red Flame. Very expensive plant. I paid for it. And that one is Feet of Flames. So the feet is not flaming right now. It's only blushing. But there's a lot of dry leaves around it. So... I think this might have rotted and I just noticed a baby. <laughs> so this would have rotted first. And of course, I'm sure there'll be maybe a couple of mealybugs in there, but look how big the flower buds are. They're huge, it's like really big. Anyway, so I think I saw the flower somewhere when it bloomed, but now uh, I can't even remember if I've taken a video or anything like that, but now it's in desperate need of cleaning up. So as promised, I'm gonna do a little mini cleanup of some of my succulents that are in dire need of cleaning up. So gloves are on and this one now, the water we have to tip it out because, oh there's still another plant, I just chucked it there. Now this one, I tip it out here for now and don't worry about my little dirty lazy Susan. We'll deal with that later on. Right now I just really want to clean this up and I forgot my secateurs but this one hopefully this will just break off. Okay, hang on, I'll just break that off there and I could still plant the stem and see if it grows. So I will save it. So anything that's got the little bloom bloom, we remove. But even though it's got bloom bloom, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna leave it and see what happens. So I'll probably cut this into three parts. So I'll leave you there. This is a red flame. So there you go. Okay, let the fun begin. Now I have to remove this. Uh, I was going to talk about something, but I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> okay, now, this one now, oh look, there's a few little bugs. 
Oh, a spider. Okay, now we are forecast rain. So this afternoon it will rain. So this one now I have uh, sort of let it dry up a little bit on top so there's no more water pooling. So that's the best time to do this. But I still shouldn't be actually pulling the leaves because now I'm opening the wounds. Now, but the best thing I could do is to stop it from rotting and this one really wants to grow because I can see some roots underneath on the stem so hopefully you can see that on the video anyway uh, we'll see so those are roots there roots like sticking out all the way around as I remove the leaves and oh, a couple of spiders living in it doesn't matter so this is just a quick one so after I clean this I have to put this somewhere where it doesn't get wet because if it does get wet, it might encourage it to rot again. So, there you go. I'm just going to see this one now. That is showing signs of rotting in there. So, also because of the flower stalk, when it flowers, that encourages uh, insecto <laughs> like mealybugs or aphids to come and attack the plant and this one at some stage it has been attacked I think by hang on a little tweezer I think I'm not sure whether it's mealybug or no bug but so I don't get bug about it I'm gonna spray some metho okay oh big spider running sorry there you go disinfected now that side is almost clean. I'll just drop it. Oops, pick up the wrong one. I like using the forceps because it doesn't, you can't stub it and um, cut the plant. Now this one is so good. Okay, are you ready? Can we do a close up? Okay, you ready? I just want to get it like, oh, so satisfying. Dry leaves and also mealies down in the bottom see white fluffy see they're still alive this mealy bug on the tip of my ah i see mealy blood <laughs> he's got mealy blood now we clean and pull it's quite easy and also there's some um, uh i think soil mites i saw one running away from it but it's tiny little uh sometimes brown sometimes white little insect that's not supposed to be there okay so that's still okay can you see from the top there that is also showing signs of stress rotting from that part there so half of it is sort of almost half rotting but I'm not gonna worry about that I'm just gonna uh, spray this and hopefully it will continue to grow now that one's nice and clean you still have a couple of months to do some growing and hopefully you recover. Now the stem here, I have to, okay, can you see that? Normally I just leave it to dry up, but now since we're already here, I might as well remove it. Now it's gonna have big scar, but it's okay. It's been traumatized enough already anyway, so a little bit more <laughs> wouldn't hurt. It'll just make you stronger, I promise. <laughs> okay, and spray it with methyl. Okay, now, I'm gonna put this away. My next candidate is this spiky ebony. I never ever thought that ebony could rot. I do know they don't like water that much, <laughs> but this is one of my oldest ebony. 2019 is when I acquired this plant, so five years almost since I had this in this pot. Never gave me any babies, and also, uh, <laughs> I, I do have some seeds taken from this, but anywho, I'm just gonna start from the top now. So this one has rotted, and look, that's a rotted leaf, but it's just interesting to see that it had, it grew a little bit of, maybe it's not a root, not too sure, but it's got a tail. So I don't know, it's trying to uh, grow some plants or babies as it's dying, but anywho, it's all good now. I'm gonna clean you up. So this has rotted. In the first place so that's rotted or root rot it's not a root rot really if it's not in the roots in it so that one so you can see that 
that's rotted from too much rain or too much wet but as I would suspect that there will be some mealybug but I'm surprised that there's none so this is just a case of too much water too much of the good stuff water the essence of life okay I'm almost there so I'm only gonna do a couple of plants but the rest of the gang has to be done in the next couple of days. I'm going to see if there's a break in the weather. And as I clean this, uh, disinfect it and put some uh, my methylated spirit, one cup to a quarter cup water ratio, then I have to put this away somewhere safe where it doesn't get wet. So the neck is cleaning up slowly, look, as it pushes itself up, it pushes the granite around it as well. So the soil is really, really wet, soaking, saturated. Good plants, anywho. Okay, so you can see the roots now in the bottom there. So the plant is pushing itself up, lifting itself up so that the roots can be spared from <laughs> too much water. <laughs> Poor thing. Hi, sorry, but it's okay. Mommy, see you now. Okay, so now we cover you, okay? And also, what I like to do is, this is one of the spikiest. Uh, I call this spear ebony spearhead because it's got really pointy, pointy, sharp tips. And then also the edges, okay, I'll just get rid of that little weed here. And the soil, I'm just going to um, tease it a little bit on the edges. So, okay, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, just to air it out a little bit. And then that way we'll get some oxygen underneath the roots and lifting it up and saying to it, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get my master tweezer. This is culinary tweezer available at your. I actually bought this from uh, Sauvage, the one Savage Urban. I think. All good. Now, I'll put you away somewhere nice and safe. Next candidate is this Crispate Beauty that is almost dead. But this is actually an easy growing plant. If keep it looked after. If it starts rotting, better make sure that you remove the offended leaves. <laughs> they get offended because they're rotted. Okay, now this one now. Rustling noise. Oh, there's another baby. There's another baby. Wait a minute. And I just grabbed one of the baby's leaves. Okay, are you going to produce another baby for me? No. <laughs> Oh no, so this one now, this is no good. See the wrinkling in the neck, on the neck, <laughs> in the neck, on the neck of this leaf? That's not gonna grow anymore. Not gonna put out babies, I'm sorry, but. Can you see the baby now? Oh my goodness. Look at the baby, I put this one in. <sighs> okay, look. I saw the baby on the other side, but, oh, that one might actually be good still. Oh, there's a dark spot. See the dark spot there in the tip? That is no good. So again, no point keeping you. I'm going to chuck you out now. You ready? Hello, beautiful baby. Don't die. Okay, I've got a few leaves that has fallen off when I touch it. But actually, we might have just saved this baby. So because the end of it is rotting as well. Okay, I don't know if I could save you. I'm sorry I didn't get to you in time. But do you have a node? This baby, I hope, dries up. And will grow even though it's tiny like that see look oh poor thing never mind okay so i have red flame on the side here and i, I hope i don't forget because i'm a very forgetful woman i have too many things on my mind and i haven't had breakfast or lunch yet because i woke up well put it this way i went to bed late because i was watching some videos important stuff about health and all that stuff that is the essence of life. <laughs> I have to have a healthy body and so that I can have a healthy mind. And so now we have to gently 
it doesn't really have a crunch, isn't it? Because it's all sort of damp still, the leaves. But I thought I can give you an ASMR experience by removing the leaves, but I can't. It's a very quiet <laughs> cleaning process. Okay, gentle. Don't be rough. Don't be rough. Oh, she's going to sing again. No, she won't. Okay, nice and clean. Hello. You clean. I sound like my budgie. Hello. <laughs> So cute when he says things like that. Hello. Little baby bird I've got. Uh, Who's been keeping me company and it's a little bit uh, clingy lately because it's just me. Daddy's not here. I have to ring up hubby every now and then to talk so he can talk to Pedro basically. Oh look. Look what happened here. So that had some major issues. Anywho, you can see that ah, this one now this is a good candidate for head chop. So half of it is already gone. I will clean it up first so I can show you. Remove that. Another leaf has fallen, but this is a good leaf. The good leaf. Maybe I can get baby out of this leaf. So all is not lost. Sometimes you fret, well I do, that, oh my plant's dead. But I don't really, I just kept thinking. There you go. There's another excuse to buy another one. Okay, now, now I have two babies, but I have to remove that. See, there's a mealybug. Mealybug and look that's a healthy leaf. See that little pink tip there? That's a good indication it's going to produce more pups for me. Now I can take that off. And so Mia, come here. Come a little closer and you will see that it is what it is. Okay. It's okay, baby. Mommy's here cleaning you up. Okay. There you go. So that one maybe not so so. But I'm still gonna keep this just in case. Waste not, what not, and it had, it had, it had, it had <laughs> three babies. Oh look! But this one, this baby is no good. That's dead. Okay, I'm sorry, but that one I'll save the leaves. See what happens. But that one, dead, dead. Chuck that away. And we're gonna do a chop, 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 chop. Now I'm gonna examine this first. So this one has created a whole in its heart right at the gut of this plant but there's another plant growing on the side so what i would like to do or what i'm hoping is that if i chop this off there you go see it's sort of rotted halfway something might have ate it or i'm just trying to see uh what happened there or maybe there's some mealybug or who knows just gonna move this back and I'm gonna take my tweezer. I need a loop. I just want to see that if it's got anything in it still. Okay. Yes, there's a little see there's a little bug there. So there's some soil mites that has attacked this plant. Okay, so now we're gonna spray it with my metho. There's any, oops, my camera, I forgot. Uh, I hope I did not <laughs> spray some meth on my camera. Sorry, do you have meth on the lens? Okay, now this one, I can keep that one. And this one, I'm gonna let this dry up and bring this inside. I can't leave it out here because it's all gonna die. And this one as well, there you go. Any soil mite. It doesn't really kill the soil mite, but it just sort of tells them to back off. Basically, I've noticed that when I do spray them with methyl, they don't like it. They move somewhere else. But at the moment, I have my other spray that uh, I haven't used for a long time. My Eco Oil. But, anywho, I haven't used that. Is it Eco Oil? Something like that. Eco Pest Oil. But I haven't used it for a while, so I am not going to spray this beautiful plant. Hopefully, it will grow. But if it doesn't grow, it doesn't really matter because they're so easy to grow. i got a few more of this crisp beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a resident slug hiding, <laughs> came out, and then now, oh, see this, okay, <laughs> yuck, hang on, oops, I miss, I meant to put it in the dustpan, anyway, so hopefully, hey, there's none hiding underneath here, there you go, oh, because there's a gap underneath, and then uh, that slug thought, oh yeah, I can come out now, no, you're not. If you come out, you die. Now I have to clean my forceps now. 
Anywho, so now this is a protected area where my cacti uh, holding bay here. Oh look, I got this chooks chicken. <laughs> look at chicken mug that I converted into, hang on, there you go. What is that one, Mamillaria? And so cute, look. But I bet you that hasn't been used at all because it's an inconvenience to wash it and even hold it. You know, I want to know if who thought it's a good idea to make some uh, pok, 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 mug. <laughs> now down in the bottom, that is now where, okay. Okay, I've got the ebony and also my flames down here and they are going to stay here for a good month at least to dry up. Uh, that way give it some time to dry the soil and they will be off in this merry way. Also, this one doesn't have feet. There's a tiny little bit of cutting on the pot, but I put this wire underneath it so it can sit on that wire and air can circulate underneath and dry up the soil. I have a few more important plants to clean up, like this Romeo and that Romeo, which has got some rotting leaves, and also this Agavoides number 40, which I name Red Lotus now number 40 <laughs> because it looks different to another agavoidis number 40 this one here i call dandan so the two plants was labeled number 40 but they kind of look different from each other so this red lotus looks a bit more like a mestro or the mestro i've got here but only time will tell if they are the same plant or not so maybe they're the same hybrid but they come out looking differently slightly also this variegated plant here this is called uh, Maria or Santa Maria <laughs> anywho actually I should really put this over on the other side because this is no good this has rotted started to rot last week I took a couple of leaves in the bottom so you can see that there's some space there and now it's continuing to rot because it's out here so this one I have to remove the rotting leaves there you go that's not going to grow anymore. And another two. And I am going to spare it from getting wet. A standard issue, I will put it somewhere where the other ones are. There you go. Hopefully it doesn't rot anymore. But this is already loose. Now this is a good opportunity for me to remove some leaves to see if it will grow. Hang on gently because I don't want to break it off the node come on I'm sorry there you go are you gonna grow I don't know they're a bit fragile but who knows but this plant I love so much because this has got some funny I see there's also some white fluffy mealybug issue before I think that's what happens with this one I think there's a cop yeah I didn't even see the mealybug so anyway okay now you can see that there's some damage in there and you can see the white bits Okay, I'll show, point this out, that one there, that's a mealybug. Remnants, and also on the other side there, but the rest of it is still good. I'm actually in two minds whether I should cut this plant, but I love this plant because it's done some funny, funky growth. Look at that. Oh, you see the hook? Look at that. It's gorgeous. The hooky plant. So are you a hooky, hooky plant? <laughs> anyway, and it's killing over on one side. So I think I'm going to remove a lot more of the leaves of this one. And I am going to bid you goodbye while I prop this up. Put it on one side so it doesn't kill over. There you go. It's staying put. Now, I'm going to remove the leaves in the bottom here. So which means one, two, three, four, five. Anything that's sort of sticking out not in the same order I will remove but I won't do that in front of you I will do that inside so that way I can concentrate better and I don't ruin the leaves so hopefully they will grow anywho guys I'm gonna bid you goodbye whilst I continue my cleaning up now let's focus here again with my Agavoidis number 40 red lotus and also Agavoidis number 40 down below dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hang on <laughs> the wind is blowing dun dun and it took my tax pan tax pan <laughs> just a couple more anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my silliness it's just my way i'm not really silly i'm very level-headed but when i do play i like to be silly because it's more fun 
there's no point <laughs> uh, having fun and keeping a straight face because uh, that's how you get into the old zone mentality. So I'll always be young at heart and hopefully I get to live to 126. Oh, okay, Red Lotus, I'm going to have some babies from you as well. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. Hope I'll see you on the next video. Okay. Now this one, gently, gently, gently. Oh, the bumping heads. This is Simon's twins. Okay, that's hard. Ah, push down. See, this is what happens. It broke. It broke. Now it's dead. <laughs>